everyone welcome back to the channel my name is frank today i'm gonna walk you through the steps i use to deinterlace this video using artificial intelligence and a few other plugins in premiere pro all right let's get right into it so here I have one of the worst cases of interlaced videos I've seen where throughout the whole video it's just really bad. It looks like he has a chainsaw going around him and anything you do is just going to be hard to remove. So before I'm just going to walk a little bit of software and it's this is the latest up version as of today. Here we have the presets, a couple of presets, a few of the AI models. You can download some of the older versions if you need to. Shortcuts, customize the UI. If you want to use your graphic card or the CPU. Here you can choose the amount of frames you want to render. I'm just going to render six seconds. And here's all the models, some of the parameters you can change the exporting so the first thing I did was just go to the settings and clean up all progressive footage normally some something like this you would need to use these models which they claim they fix these type of videos from that to that I tried them all and it didn't help nothing it just made it worse so I'm not sure I will show you some of the samples that it some of these samples that it gave me So I tried them all and they did nothing. So I just went with uh, clean up all progressive footage and just preview it. So it shows that it's using the Artemis low quality and it does a pretty good job. Although it doesn't clean up everything, it fixes it pretty well. So here this frame, I was able to fix this side, but under here it didn't do a very good job. Same over here on this side. It does half of what I was expecting. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and render this. I'm just gonna denoise it, I'm not gonna upscale it. And you could keep the audio if you have audio and same. And let's go ahead and start processing it. And this is real time. It's going to take about a minute. Okay, once it finishes rendering, we're going to bring this to Premiere Pro. And bring the new file that we have. I'm going to go ahead and apply an effect called... And you can also use After Effects or Premiere Pro for this, either one. And we're going to use the effect called BCC Image Restoration. And we're going to pick the one that says DV Fixer. Go ahead and apply it to it. Okay, so right as soon as I apply the effect, it fixes those edges right away. They look less, less sharp like that. That's just applying the effect. It will do this automatic. This is the original video. And if I was to apply that DV fixer to it, this is the effect it takes right away, fixing the edges instantly. It does a pretty well job, although it doesn't really fix some of the quality. It definitely gets rid of the interlace. It's gone like, I would much rather see this type than with the interlace. Okay, so let's go back with the topaz. This is the one with the topaz. And as soon as we apply this effect, it gets rid of that those edges. You can go ahead and refine it. Here we have, so I'm just gonna decrease the threshold a bit. It's making it a bit more blurry. And if I increase it, it sharpens it. So I'm gonna drop it down to about, we're gonna drop it down to about two or three. This is your preference. You can do zero, one, two, or three. 
Let's go ahead and do one. And you can also soften the threshold or leave it as it is. It For this, it doesn't really matter. We'll just leave it as it is. You can change this. It just blurs it out a bit more. For this, I'm just going to leave it on one. And it has other things you can use, such as blending the old footage with the new one. If you need to blend them in a little bit. Once we do that, let's go ahead and render this. So right away, you can see it's getting much better now. So let's go ahead and just render this real quick. And I'll export it. Okay, go ahead and render it. And once it's rendered, let's go ahead back to Topaz Enhance. Bring back that video. So now we have this. It's looking a lot better compared to what we started with. Let's go ahead and try to get some of this halo away. They have some of these models here. Let's try this one. So it did sharpen it a little bit. You want to see it looks before and after. This looks a little less blurry, a little sharper. So remove some of that halo away. Let's go ahead and close it. I'm happy with the results. I'm going to keep it simple. You can choose other types of the halo and such as this, which you can mess with the parameters, but Let's just go with this. Let's go ahead and start processing. And this is all real time. It's taking no more than one to three minutes. So you can see the video is getting a lot better now. The DV Fixer really did help. Hopefully in the future, Video Enhance AI adds that feature to it. That would really help with these type of interlace videos. That would be a nice upgrade. Also, if they can add to be able to colorize the video, that would also be another pretty cool update. From here, you can go ahead and use the clean up all progressive footage one more time. It helps a little bit. Do you see it looks a bit, bit more clean? You can use this if you want. You don't have to. I will go ahead and use it. Even if it helps just a little bit and if it helps just with some details, you it's worth using it. So it helps with the hair a bit. And sometimes it helps just on a few frames. Although it, it helps on a few frames, but sometimes it doesn't help on other frames. So it's kind of like you could either use a mask and keep some of the other details from the other video and use a mask just around him to keep other details because I did notice once I apply this it helps on him but sometimes it doesn't help much on the letters around here so it's kind of like you're losing details on some parts but you're gaining details on some other parts so that's when using the mask can come in and balance that okay once you finish that go ahead and bring that video time okay and this last model we're gonna apply is just gonna tune fine-tune the details a bit and it does does a very subtle subtle effect but it helps with the with the sharpness of it and you could also tweak it up a bit like I wanna just leave it as it is it, it looks good so we're gonna this will be the last step and some of these are optional. You don't have to go through all these, but these are just what I did. If you're just looking to deinterlace that, this 
these are the steps that you could use to do it. It would take that away in seconds. As you can see, we fixed that. Looks nice and sharp. On this last part, you might not notice, but it's just very subtle. It's taking away more blurriness. His mask, just so noticeable, everything. Some of these numbers back here. And as you can see, all of them took no more than a minute. Okay, so once that's finished, that's pretty much how you would deinterlace the video using Video Enhance AI. Now, if you want to take it a bit further, you can go ahead and colorize it. You can use Photoshop, but if you don't need to, this is pretty much how you would do it using the steps I did. Now, if you want to colorize it, let's you can st stick around and see how I do it. So from here on, we can go ahead and close this. We're done. Now let's go to Photoshop. All I did was just create a new uh, composition. Next, go to your video. The last one we re rendered. Okay, so once you bring part five, go ahead and drop it up here. It will open up this. Many people don't know, but you could also edit some videos on Photoshop. And if you have version 2022, when they added the neural filters, you're gonna be able to do this. The most important step right now is to make this layer a smart object. I'll repeat it again, make it a smart object. It's not gonna work if you don't do that. Next, go ahead and filters, neural filters. And if you have the colorize, you might see this, it's going to look like it's transparent, but that's because it didn't detect any faces. Go ahead and turn on the colorize. You should be able to see that right there. Go ahead and change at filters, change some of these colors. I'm going to leave it auto. Most important thing here too is choose the smart filter. So it applies this to the smart filter, all of these. Go ahead and click OK. Based on the AI, it's gonna give you what the color should look like. Go ahead and render it now. Just click over here, render video. Make sure that all frames or work area are chosen. Make sure your quality is high and just check some of these things. I'm going to save it on this folder. So that's how you render the video, let it finish. It should take no more than two to three minutes the most. It's really not meant for this, but it's something that you could use it for. And it'll do a pretty good job at colorizing videos. So if you didn't know that you could colorize videos with Photoshop, that's an alternative to use. Okay, so once it finishes, go ahead and close Photoshop. And just to recap off everything we did, I'm gonna just quickly show you how everything, how all the changes look. These are all the renders we did. And I'm gonna show you each, how each made a difference. So as you can see the original, it's just all bad. And if you were to apply just a DV fixer, because you have no, you don't have Topaz enhanced, it would definitely help you fix it. Make it more viewable, I guess, versus this. But if you wanna take it further, you can always use Topaz Enhance, and it will give you this result. Although it's not the best, it will fix it. Most of it, I would say about 90% of it, it will fix it. But if you mix Topaz Enhance with the DV Fixer, you get even better results. So that's something they need to work as as an update for Topaz Enhance, before and after with the DV Fixer. And then we added another Artemis low quality and it made it a little bit more clear. It took off some of those lines. It even made them more sh straighter. 
see some of these lines are gone just a little bit more straight and clean and less blurry you can see here on the guitar okay and then we went and added uh, the halo and we dehaloed it a little bit making it even more sharp less blurry and then we fine tuned it just tuning those details just a bit, very subtle. It's a very subtle effect. And then we colorized it with Photoshop, giving us this result. It just looks nice and clean. I would have never been able to tell this is an interlace video. It just looks so nice and clean, nice and sharp. So that's how you could fix these videos with these steps. I hope they help you. If you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you think or if you know other methods. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful.